All right, it's time to make a coffee table. So this project has been in the works for a few months now. It's been really busy with a lot of commissions and client projects. So it's one of those projects that I just had to put on the back burner uh, until I get some of the client stuff done. Uh, but now I do have a little bit of time. And so we're just going to hopefully knock this out really quick. My goal is to probably spend only about two, three days on it. Hopefully, let's see. I know I've been teasing this product over on Instagram for a while now. I posted a photo a while back showing you guys these brackets here that I'm going to use for this build. This is the self-made brackets. And these brackets are pretty cool because they're pre-bent so that it receives a one by four piece of wood. So not much tools are involved when it comes to making this piece of furniture. And that's what I'm going to use for this build. Full disclosure, Selfmade does not sponsor my channel. They did, however, sent over their brackets for me to use. And I thought it was a pretty cool product. So I wanted to show you guys exactly how to use it for this build. Another thing I did on Instagram was I asked you guys what wood I should use for this build because I was going to go with a concrete top and then the rusted finish for the brackets. And I was stuck between white oak and white ash. So I posted a photo on Instagram and some of you guys said, well, why not make the legs out of concrete too? So I'm like, all right, let's see what people think. And so I posted a poll over on Instagram and <laughs> you guys chose concrete for the entire build, uh, which now that I think about it, it it's probably a really bad idea, <laughs> but I'm going to move forward with it. I'm going to make it out of concrete. It's not going to be full concrete because building a solid concrete coffee table, that's going to be kind of heavy for my wife to move around. Um, and I think things, it's just going to be a little bit more cumbersome. I thought long and hard about how I could create a concrete look, but not really use their typical concrete mix. And that reminded me of this project over here. I worked on this project about five years ago and I did a concrete wall finish that wasn't really concrete. I used this product called Ardex. This is the product that I use on that project here. It comes in two colors, gray and white. I'm actually gonna use the white for this project. But on that project, I just used the Ardex feather finish. I applied right over the gypsum board and it held up really well. And also there's this product over here where I applied the Ardex over MDF and that held up really well as well. So I think for this project, since I experimented with the MDF before, as well as regular gypsum board, I'm just gonna use plywood because I do have some sheets of plywood laying around as scraps. And I think it's going to hold up really well on the plywood. So I'm not too worried about it, but <laughs> yeah, it's, Concrete, man, what was I thinking of letting you guys be part of this process? <laughs> so with that being said, first step, let's mill down some plywood. The size of the coffee table is based on the size of our living room. We don't have that big of a living room. We want to still have plenty of space for our son to play. So this coffee table won't be really big, but it'll be perfect for our needs. After measuring the size of our couch, I felt like a 32 by 24 coffee table would be perfect. I'm building up the legs by using plywood to create essentially a box. I'm not too worried about the rough edges since it'll all be covered with a concrete mix. I'll use the same plywood for the aprons as well as the top. Once I got all the pieces cut out, I can go ahead and do a quick mock-up with all the brackets attached. And once I figured out that everything looks good and it fits, I can go ahead and give it a good sanding.
The cement based mix is from Ardex and it's in their white color. It dries really quick so I had to mix the product in small batches at a time and then apply it directly onto the plywood. You simply pour the mix into a bucket, add some water, make sure it's thoroughly mixed together. You want to make sure that the consistency is sort of like a runny peanut butter. And if it's too runny, just add a little bit more. Applying the mix is fairly simple. Think of it like you're just icing a cake. Mmm, cake. And I'm not too worried about how smooth or rough the application is at this point, since I can sand everything really smooth once the cement's dried. <laughs> I'll set those pieces off the side to let it dry and move on to finishing off these brackets. The rest that you see here doesn't come naturally with the brackets. I actually created this weathered look using some household products. I did a separate video on that process, so feel free to check it out in the link below. We're using just a clear coat sealer to seal off the rust. That way it'll prevent the rust from staining our clothes and hands while we use a coffee table. And now that the cement mix is set, I can go ahead and set everything down with 120 grit. And then I'll move on to 180 grit to get it a little bit more smooth. You don't want to go too rough with the grits because you can actually sand it all down to the bare wood. So just be mindful of the grits you're using if you're going to use this technique. I'm treating this like you would any concrete countertop. It's going to be porous, so I want to make sure that I seal everything off with a concrete sealer. I'm using chain concrete sealer. Link in the description you want to purchase it. It's a great sealer, really easy to apply. And if you're going to use concrete for any of your projects, I definitely recommend it. These brackets from Self Made are really awesome. All I need are just two screws to hold the piece together. That's pretty much it. I think it's a great product if you're looking for a quick way to put pieces of furniture together and you don't have a lot of tools to do so. All you really need is to buy one by four pieces of material at the big box store and then cut it down to the right length. You can actually buy a top that's pre-made to make this project even simpler. However, with the tops, I needed to install some support pieces around the edge to keep the top from falling through. And to do that, a simple piece of scrap wood with two screws did the job perfectly fine. And there we have it guys, the coffee table is done. Functionally, it works really well for us. I really like the size. It's not so big that it takes up a lot of room in our living room. There's still plenty of space for my son to run around and we can still add a um, side chair here and there just in case we have more people coming over to the house. And the size is perfect for my son as well because we can just pull up a kitty chair and it's perfect for him to eat while uh, sitting down. And then later on, this could also be a side table if we want to move it out of the center of the living room. We could place it on the side of the couch and it's out of the way in the living room. And the good thing is that since I made it out of plywood, it's really light. My wife can easily pick this up and move it across the room if she needs to. So very multifunctional, multi-purpose. That's what we love about it. Now that the coffee table is done, there's one thing that I don't like about it and it didn't really fit what I envisioned for the project. And that is the concrete. I think the concrete is a little bit too white. The reason why I went with the white is because the gray I felt like was a little bit too dark. Um, but now with the white, it's a little bit too bright. So it's a little bit too stark for me. I mean, it feels like a sealed piece of concrete. Um, and if you look really closely, you see the imperfection. So it does look a little bit like concrete, but when you stand back, it doesn't really give that full concrete look that I'm going for. As you guys saw earlier, there's no glue that's holding this thing together. So I could just literally just take it apart 
and put it back together using the same brackets, which is really cool. And if you guys do want to pick up the bracket here, I do have a discount code down in the description below. You do get 5% off with the code DCW5. So if you do want to pick one up for your project, I highly recommend it, especially if you're a person that doesn't have a lot of tools. This bracket makes it really easy to put furniture together. With that being said, I am going to keep it for now. Um, maybe in the future, we might change things up a little bit, but that's part of the design process. Don't be afraid to go out and try new things. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. In this case, it didn't really work out. It didn't really fit the vision that I had for this coffee table. So just don't be afraid to experiment, to do new things and to see what happens because you never know. So that's where I'm going to leave this video. If you did enjoy this video, give me that thumbs up and also definitely subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think I'm being a little bit too hard on myself? Do you like this stark white and rusted look? Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. If you want to support me, definitely share this video. I appreciate it. Until next time, guys, this has been Bao with Design Craft Workshop. See you.